time ago. Oh shit, he's having a Darth Vader moment. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Ant. God made 32 on Instagram, and from the good people over at Lucasfilm, we're back with the Ahsoka trailer, and I can't wait to get into this one with you. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I haven't been plugged in with The Mandalorian as much as I should be this season, and I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, but from watching Star Wars Rebels cartoon when I was a kid, I know who Ahsoka Tano is, and I know she made a guest appearance in The Mandalorian last season. So, I know the hype for this trailer has been building so much. Also, she's played by the amazing Rosario Dawson, man. So, I'm so excited to see what this series is going to be. And I'm so excited for all of the Star Wars fans who have been waiting for this series to come for so long. So, yeah, guys. If you like what you see in here, please go ahead and do the YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Now, without any further ado, let's get it. Something's coming. There she goes. Something dark. Mm. Ooh, that double lightsaber was crazy. I sense it. She senses it in the force. Lucasfilm. This is a new beginning. Oh, they got another cute animal. Some. Oh, she bought the level. He's, hey! For others. I love this beard. This shit look like rebels. This summer. It's been a while. Things have changed. <laughs> I started hearing whispers. Okay. About Thrawn's return. As heir to the Empire. Why does she seem so epic? We have to prepare Ooh, for the worst. He's a sick. I can tell by the lights. Hey! The Jedi fell a long time ago. Oh shit, he's having a Darth Vader moment. Hold that. Yeah! <laughs> the rebel. Jedi, let's get it. Perhaps it is time to begin again. Back. Woo! Ahsoka. In August, though. From Disney Plus. And yeah, guys, that was the Ahsoka trailer, man. And that just looks so epic, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. That like, There was so many different scenes in that that just got me so excited, man. I think there's just something about the Star Wars universe that just gravitates everybody towards it and make you want to get involved in it, man. I don't know if it's the lore, if it's the expansive history of it. I don't know if it's like the, 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 the cool design of the characters. It could just be the lightsabers, but like, I don't know exactly what it is, man, but like every time I see a new Star Wars show or movie pop up, I have to take a look at it. I have to see what it's about because I want to get involved. I want something to like bring me in on the universe so much and I'm keeping up with it as much as I can. But at the same time, because we haven't been Jedi focused for so long, I think like this is a great way to bring us back in the way of the Jedi, man. Like in this trailer, there's so many great echoes of things that we've seen in the past. But like shedding a new light, like Buddy walking down the corridor, force choking guys, knocking off the laser blast with his lightsaber. It's, it's just giving us, it's, it's just giving me full on Dark Vader vibes, you know what I mean? And I understand that, that the Sith and the dark side are just so powerful. And in this trailer, it really brings that gravitas to them. Like that character, to that Sith Lord that who was just like doing all of that, it really like focuses on him just now and gives us a stern villain for us to root for when Ahsoka is going through her missions, man. And I think that's what a new series of The Mandalorian is really missing, man. A, a great antagonist to go up against the protagonist of The Mandalorian. We understand that he has baby Grogu. We understand that a lot of people love the story that's being told with those characters, but at the same time, for somebody like me, who's not 100% entrenched in the world of Star Wars, I need something like this 
with a compelling storyline that really hooks me in it. I think that's why I enjoyed Obi-Wan so much. Even though that had a lot of shortcomings in there, it gave me a compelling protagonist, it gave me a compelling antagonist, and it was characters that we were all familiar with. So hopefully this one carries the torch of both series and takes what's good from both series and leave all the bad stuff behind. But yeah, guys, jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about this, man. Are you excited about Ahsoka? Who is your favorite character in the Star Wars lore? When did you become a fan of the series? And if you're somebody like me, when did you get familiar with the character? It was Star Wars Rebels for me. And I'm just so excited because I love when they take a character from animation and they bring him to live action. And it looks so great and it looks like a one-to-one -one adaptation. So, yeah, man. If you like what you're seeing here, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know. And it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. Perhaps it is time to begin again. Yeah!